how important it is to stretch yourself. Like, you know, like you said, 16 year old playing country senior footy, um, looking back at those moments, were they, did that really move the needle for you in terms of your development, those big step ups? Yeah, I think so. I think um, kind of people having confidence in you and then you having confidence in yourself is a, is a big part of it. And I think football more so than anything is such a confidence game. You can put everything that you want, all the stepping stones in place, prepare as best as you possibly can and and get out there and, and you lose that sense of confidence and, and your game kind of goes. So for me, that was definitely a big part of it. Um, leading into my under 18th year, I definitely made a, a clear decision. I, I remember speaking to mum and dad and said that, you know, I'm going to put everything into to getting drafted and this is what I want to do and this is what I want to spend my year 12 kind of doing. And they were 100% supportive of that and, and I can't kind of thank them enough for just kind of backing me as a young person to just go after it. And who, who were your strong influences early days to help help you during your development? Yeah, I think obviously I, I spoke about my parents, you know, they're, I think any fortunate um, kid, they're, they're the number one supporter. Obviously growing up in Gippsland and being three hours away from Melbourne where we pretty much spent two years traveling back and forth. We absolutely flogged them on Ash Freeway and, you know, they dedicated so much time and um, and effort into supporting not just me, but my brother Tom as well in, in our sporting endeavors. So um, certainly mum and dad were, were a massive influence. I think um, down at Gibson Power, uh, Peter Francis, who is the general manager there for ever, um, is an absolute legend. And, and Nick Stevens, who was my coach in the under 18th year, they put a lot of confidence in me as well and, and really kind of pushed me um, to AFL clubs to, to kind of get on their radar and as well as in big country. And you know, I have a lot to thank to both of them. And How did you go about uh, approaching rehab and what were some things you learned along the way that made rehab more successful, I guess? Yeah, it was, it was a tough one. So as I said, that first year you come in, your eyes are open, you're just having a crack and then the following year, you want to make sure that you you improve on what you've just kind of laid out. And for me, I, I felt like I had a pretty good year. I played a couple of games in the seniors. I played good VFL, played a good final series. And so I was like, all right, it's my time. I want to make sure that I kind of cement my spot um, in the senior to- in the senior side. So I'm going to do everything that I can in the preseason to make sure I come back kind of raring to go. And that was pretty much what I did. I didn't go away. I, I went just back home and just trained as, as much as I could. Looking back now, what, what, is some of, what is the most fondest memory out of all those highlights? Yeah, I definitely think that that final series that we had at Box Hill um, in 2018 was probably, I've got goosebumps thinking about it now. I, I, you were part of it and it was just a crazy, crazy roller coaster um, coming into that final series. You know, we finished six. We won in overtime <laughs> and then the following week we, we had a good game against Geelong and then we won by a point in the prelim and then come from behind and, and won in the granny. And that whole kind of come from behind victories that we had just was insane. And it, just, it is a bit of a blur, but it was definitely um, the, 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 the most highlight that I had in, in footy for by a long stretch. It was absolutely awesome. Yeah, a co-founder of Liminal Wellbeing. For those that don't know, what Liminal Wellbeing is. Can you give us a bit of an intro into the company you've created? Yeah, so essentially Liminal Wellbeing is a um, management platform designed for schools, youth programs, um, sporting organisations, essentially helping to support young people in seeking support, but also developing skills around their kind of mental health and wellbeing. And we look at that uh, in terms of their mental health, uh, their physical health and their social health as well. So what we've done is designed an app and a, a management platform that work part and parcel together. Um, the app's a resource for young people to check in, um, as I said, seek support, but, but more importantly, gain inspiration, education and skills around how to kind of create a, a preventative behaviours to support their, their mental health and wellbeing. 